Click on the part of the mitten that you need help with. Or start knitting along with me. Okay, this is what we're going to be making. And we're going to start on this side, okay? So we need to cast on 47 stitches. So that's a lot of stitches. So we're going to need a long tail. And then we grab our yarn and we twist it. And then we get our the strands that are on the bottom. And we pick them up. We pull it through that hole. And then we get our needle. I'm using size nine circular needles because I'm going to do the magic loop method. Now you can still follow along with me if you're doing the double pointed needles. I think it tells you to use size 10 and for my first one I did size 10 and it was too big so I went down to size 9. Okay and this is how I hold my yarn. I just go through these two with my thumb and pointer finger and I grab with my bottom three fingers, the rest of the yarn, Ooh. and then I just kind of pull it. And so that's what it looks like. It takes a while to get used to, but you'll get the hang of it. And yes, my fingernails aren't painted. I'm really weird when I am first pregnant with, you know, the chemicals and fumes and everything. So, sorry, ugly nails. <laughs> Okay, so we go under, and you grab that one, and then you go in between those, and then you pull it. Okay, so do this 47 times. Okay, so now I counted 23 stitches on this side. That's half. The other side should have 24. And I split it so that half is on one side of the needle, half is on the other to do magic loop method. Okay, now for row one, all that we do is purl one and knit one. If you put your yarn in the back, that will make it a knit. So like your yarn is in the back, right? So we need it in the front. So we're just going to leave it down like this. Okay. So you pull this needle off of your stitches and we're going to go from the back to the front. Okay, and then you grab your working yarn, not your tail, and then you go around it. And that's how you purl. And then you put your yarn in the back, like I did. You go from the front to the back. Bring your yarn around counterclockwise. Okay. So you do this for rows one through four. You just purl one and knit one, purl one and knit one. Okay, and I will show you what you do when you get to the end of this needle. Okay, so my last stitch is a purl, so I bring the yarn over in the front, and I purl it. Okay, now we flip our work over, and then you bring these, this needle back. Okay, I didn't twist them. Okay, so we're back to here. Now we have to knit the next one because we purled this one. And I forgot to tell you guys, we have to knit the last 12 stitches. <sighs> okay, so that's easy. Okay, so we took our needle off of those stitches and we go through the front to the back. And then we bring our yarn over. 
Okay. Okay, here's my last 12 stitches and I knit. So I had my pearl and then you knit. And you do this for rows one through four. And if you need to watch it again, click right here and it'll take you to the beginning. Here's our last one. Okay. And then we just put our stitches back on our other needle. Okay. But your working yarn always needs to be at the back. Not in the front right here. So we just switch those needles around. Okay, and then tighten that so there's not a huge gap. And then we go back to purling. This is now row two. Do the same thing that we did for row one. Okay, now for row five, we knit two together. So we get our first two stitches and we just knit them like we would do with one stitch. Then we bring our yarn over. And there you go. And so with this row, we're doing the exact same thing as rows one through four. Except we knitted the first two stitches together, which will make one decrease. And then, right before we do our 12, knit our last 12 stitches, we slip slip knit, and that will make another decrease. So, this is how you do it. Okay, so here's our knit 12, and we need to slip slip knit the first, the two stitches before knit 12. So we go through our first stitch like we're going to knit it, but we just slide it off, okay? And we do the exact same thing to our second stitch. Slide it off. Then we get our left needle and we go underneath both of those stitches. And then we bring it to the front. And then our yarn is in the back and we just bring it around our right needle. Okay? And we slide it off. There you go. And then we knit these 12. Now for rows 6 and 7, it's the exact same thing. We, except for we're going to make our cable on row 7. So instead of knitting 12, we do our cable. So I'm just going to show you we purl the first two stitches. And then you go to knitting and purling and knitting and purling. So you purl the two stitches before the knit 12. Okay. And then for row 6, you knit these 12 stitches. And for row 7, we cable. And for row 7, we do, we get our cable needle. If you don't have a cable needle, yes, you can use double pointing needles. You can use a regular needle, but uh, you would have to go through this stitch first and then so that you can knit them off. Or you can take it off like this. And then when you're ready to knit them, then just put them back on this needle. But 3-3 LC, we grab our three, three stitches and we put them 
on our cable needle and we hold them to the front. Okay? And then we're going to knit our next three stitches on our needle. Okay, so like I said, you can either go back and put these stitches back on this needle and knit them, or you can just knit them off of your cable needle. So whichever one you feel more comfortable doing, they both do the same thing. And I kind of make it a little looser because these get really tight. And then we 3 3 RC. So we take our first three stitches off, and then instead of holding them in the front, we hold them in the back. And then we knit our last three stitches. And then we knit our stitches off of the cable needle. And that is how you do the 33LC and the 33RC. If you want to see it again, click here. Okay, that's what it should look like. Okay, so rows 8 and 9 is the same thing as row 6. And for row 10, we are going to purl two together. Just like that. And then we, right before our first 12 stitches, we are going to purl those two together the exact same way I just showed you how. And then after you do row 10, you are going to do rows 11 through 14, which is the exact same thing as rows 1 through 4. And so for the cuff, I believe I showed you how to do everything. I showed you how to knit two together, I showed you how to purl two together, how to do the cables, and how to slip slip knit, and that's all that you need to know how to do for your cuff. If I recorded every single row, this would be so long and so boring that nobody would watch it. And there's just so many rows. Oh, it would be crazy. Okay? So you should be able to accomplish all of the cuffs. So rows 1 through 41. And then we are going to work on our hand, the heel of the hand. That'll be so much fun. So make sure that you download the written pattern so that you can follow along with me and do the rows that I haven't showed you. Okay, so we're going to purl those two together. Okay, and this is what it should look like. Now, I already did the right mitten, so I'm going to show you how to do the left mitten. It's basically the same thing, you just put the thumb on the other way. So this should help you with your right mitten as well. So row 42, we purl one. And then we LCS. So we put our yarn in the back. And then we slip the first stitch purl wise. Okay, so we go into the front. And then we knit one, and then we yarn over. Then the first, then the stitch that we um, just slipped, we bring it over these two stitches and pull it off, and that's what it look like. Okay, and now we purl one. Okay, and then we knit 12, and it says to place marker, and I don't know what that's for. It's probably for the thumb, but I didn't need it. 
It doesn't say what it's for, so I'm not even going to try to think what it's for. <laughs> okay, so we just knitted 12, and now we need to make one right. So we, do you see this little bar? We're going to pick it up with our left needle from the back. And then we knit it through the front. And then we knit one, and then we make one left. So we go from the, see the, my bar? I'm going to pick that up from the front to the back this time. And then we are going to knit through the back. Okay, and that is how you make one right and make one left. Now we purl one. And then we do the RCS. We put our yarn in the front to yarn over. And then we knit this one. Okay, do you see how that just, that has two stitches? Now I flip my work over. And then I put these two stitches on back on this needle. Now I grab this stitch and I put it over those two stitches. See, so the LCS, this bar it, or the slant goes this way. Now the RCS goes this way. Now we purl one, and we knit 12. Okay, so for row 43, I purled one, knit two, and purl one. You guys know how to do that. Now I'm going to knit one and LCS four times. So I knit one, then my LCS. Yarn over. Okay, so that's one. Then I knit one. Two. Knit one. And four. Well, that's what it should look like. I'm making one right again, okay? So I'm just going to grab this, grab this bar, put it on my left needle from the back, and then I knit it. Oops, sorry. Okay, that's our make one R, and now I'm going to do LCS, so my yarn's in the back, and I slip this one. I knit this one. I yarn over. Then I grab a slip stitch, and bring it off. And then I knit one. And then I make one left, which you go from the front to the back, and then you knit it through the back. And then you purl one. 
knit two, and then purl one. Okay? Then you'll knit these 12 stitches. Alright, now for row 44, you purl one, and then you LCS, we slip this stitch, we knit the next one, and then we yarn over, and we purl one. It wants us to make one R, so I go from the back to the front, and we knit it from the front. Okay, now we're going to RCS and knit one four times. So we bring our yarn to the front, so that it'll yarn over as we knit our next stitch. The RCSs take longer to do than the LCS, so yeah. Bring it on this needle and grab the next stitch and we pull it over. That's our RCS. And then we knit one. Okay, we do that four times. I'll do it one more time for you guys. Bring them back on this. Grab our next stitch and pull it over these two. And I flip it back over. And then I just put them back on this needle. And I knit one. Okay, so now you need to do this two more times, and after you do it two more times, you are going to make one left. So we find our stitch to pick up from the front to the back. You usually pick it up with your left needle, but that just seemed easier at the time. And then you knit it, you knit it from the back. Okay, after you make one left, you're going to do another RCS. Okay, so that's what you do. One row is mostly LCSs, and then in the next one, it is the RCSs. And so you should be able to accomplish the mitten part. But I will show you how to do row 58. This is so tight. Anyways, I hope this helps. It's not just so confusing. I'm sorry I can't show you how to do every single step, but like I said, it would take forever. Okay, see you at row 58. Okay, so my row 58, I did the Pro 1 LCS, Pro 1, and then I did Knit 1 RCS. And you're supposed to do it five, six times, and I'm going to do the sixth one with you. So we knit one, and do our RCS, our yarn over, and then we knit one. Nice. And bring these stitches back on this needle. Okay, flip the back over. Put them back on our right needle. Okay, now we're supposed to cast on two stitches. So I um, put my pointer finger and thumb in the middle and I just twist it so it becomes a loop or a circle. 
and then I just put it on my right needle and then I tighten it and do it again. Okay, so we cast it on two stitches. Now we slip 13 stitches on our holder. and 13 just like that and then I close this okay so now we're going to purl one so we want our stitch holder to be on the outside right and our yarn needs to be back because it will be purl one slip these stitches off our RCS. And then we purl one. And we knit 12. Yay! Okay, and just remember that if you're trying to do an RCS on your first side over here and you need more stitches, you just borrow some on this side and then you put it on this needle so that you can work more on this side, okay? That's what I do. I'm sure you've already figured it out because you needed to do that during the mitten part. Now we're just doing the fingers and it's the exact same thing as what we were doing in the mitten, the hand part. Except I have to show you how to decrease your cabling and that is on row 79. So I will see you at row 79. Okay, so we need to do the decrease 3R and decrease 3L. So what we do is I'm going to use my crochet hook. I actually like it better than the um, cable holder. And we take three of them off. And then we hold it in the front. Now I'm going to slide the stitches over. And we are going to knit our first stitch on our cable holder and then our first stitch on our regular needle. And then slide them off. Okay, and so we do it again. Okay, now we take three stitches off and hold it in the back. what it looks like. Okay, now finish your mitten. Okay, and then I just cut my yarn and I have it on my needle and I just go 
through all these stitches. That's what it looks like, and I just tie a knot, and then I stick it through the hole, and then I turn it inside out later, and I will weave my ends in, just so that I know it's not going to come out. You can do it now if you want. Now let's do the thumb. Okay, so we need to put all of these stitches on your needles. So this is going to be our first stitch that we want to knit. So let's take these off. Okay, let's pass forward. Okay, so I am going to leave one, two, three, four, five on our first needle. So we need to just split this in the middle and put the rest of the eight stitches in the back. Okay. to slide this needle off and we are going to let's see knit two so I just bring my yarn over this like a loop and then I'm going to knit this other one with my tail so that it doesn't slip out RCS knit one Okay, so do your RCSs, and I'll see you at the end of this row. Okay, so this is our last RCS. So now I'm going to grab our other needle. See my, this is my first stitch that I knitted, and these are still, these aren't on the needle, okay? They're just chilling for a second. Okay, these are my two um, cast-on stitches, I believe. So what we're going to do is pick up just a stitch that I think would be good too and it doesn't say to knit this one it says to knit all the other ones but I'm just going to so there we go okay and then we're going to pick up these two cast on stitches so I'm going to do this one first hope you saw how I did that and then the second one is hiding can you see Oh, that's blurry. Right there. Okay. So that was three. And then we go here. And you just find one that you think would be good. I think this one would be good. Ooh. That's kind of hard. Okay. Now, let's do this one together. We do knit one LCS. This is our first stitch that we did. Our cast on stitches are the last ones. Okay, knit one. LCS. Okay, now we knit one. We 
do it again. LCS. Knit one. And then we slip slip knit. Okay, now you knit these two together. Okay, and so just keep doing that. We have 15 stitches now. Guys, we're almost done. This is going to look so good. So, if you do have a hole, then we are just going to use this, our tail, and we can weave it through. That's really not that bad of a hole. Yay, we did good. Alright, good luck. Have fun. Thank mm -hmm. you.